Hello and welcome Scorpio. This is your March 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Scorpio. Scorpio, so what we do here is we will um, divide the reading in sections so it is easier to understand and to also give the messages and these areas are as follows. Firstly, we look at the overall energy for the month of March 2023 for your very sign of Scorpio. Before we then look into your emotional core, emotional core is about whether there's healing that needs to happen, that you know, all that kind of stuff, or maybe there's love coming in, we'll see in due course. And then lastly, we will look at um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of March 2023. I'm going to share this with you because I just see myself here in, 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 in the, the, the screen and it cracks me up because I bought myself a, a grey um, sweater in a charity shop yesterday and it's way too warm now to wear that sweater but I wanted to see how it, how it works and I put it on and I was like so how does that look with the grey beard and then when I, when I looked at you know, so, so, so well, I also put on the grey the gray hat Right. So it's not, I'm not in the Arctic or Antarctic recording this. Uh, my heater is working. It's just me, as usual, being a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> it's what I do best. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's all I wanted to say about, about me being, being, being en entirely in grey, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> so for the overall energy, Scorpios. Okay. What is really important, Scorpios, is, is to step above and beyond what you normally do. So you have a very caring side, but you can also be a pain in the ass, right? Sometimes you're there's this it's this stubbornness, right? And this, oh, this is doesn't this doesn't sit right with me. It's all good, but what you're being asked is to elevate yourself and see at the end of the day, even though I may not agree with everything that comes my way, is it helpful to fight it? Does it really make sense to um to fight? So don't hear this wrong. If there is stuff that needs to be done as a Scorpio, you always have to chase it. Don't wait for people to come back to you because they normally do not um, that easily come back to you. So please be the chaser. That's not wrong. But the point is not everything that comes to you is directed at you as a negative thing. And your job is, as the over energy for the, for the entirety of March, is to say, like, no, I'm idling higher. Right? Which also means to be your best friend. Right? So make sure you, you, you put yourself first. Right? I can see loads of cake, cakes coming, you know, mm, yeah, indulge a little, who cares, right? You can worry about your, your, your diet later, <laughs> don't shoot the messenger, <laughs> but you understand that what I'm getting for you is, is like to, to, to be good to yourself, right? And a crime to be good to yourself, in any case, so that's what I'm getting for your overall energy for the month of March 2023 for the sign of Scorpio. Now we're moving into your emotional core, let's see where we're going. And already a card falls out and then another card shows itself. That's how this works. Quite like it when this happens, when they're, when they're direct. Again, it's also um, a bit of a, of a, a Scorpio, <coughs> excuse me, Scorpio trait. Be direct. The point, it, when it come, the point is, when it comes to your emotional core, in order for, for things to... So, number one, this is all about progress. This is all about moving forwards but in order, in, in order to move forward you need to not remember the things that happened to you <coughs> because you don't manifest so well when when in the back of your head you think about the old relationship or what could have happened that kind of stuff doesn't work for you anyway as 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 far as messages go or energies go you have vision and motion right it's not rocket science really what the guides are saying is Look for what it is you really want to experience, what it is you really want to have, and then put things in motion. So you might be a person that says, I would like to have 
uh, a boyfriend or a girlfriend from a different country. And then people go like, good luck. So, doesn't mean it has to be you, but you understand the point. If you are a person that, 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 that goes like, I really um, like different cultures and would like to get to know someone maybe on an intimate level um, that isn't the way you are, right? Who isn't quite in the same, um, let's just say, culture that you are, right? Which is just one of those ways. The point they're making is if this is if this is something you wanted to explore, right? There's a reason why there is why there is Facebook forums. There's a reason why you could go and and and, and you know, uh, Google friendship groups, you know, all that kind of stuff. The point is, I'm not saying that all Scorpions want to have a foreigner, <laughs> right? The point here is this just came to me as a vision. All they're saying is it it doesn't have to be simple it doesn't have to be logical you follow whatever it is you follow if you're done following old patterns and you have problems manifesting new patterns into your life um, and therefore you feel i want to just step out of everything which is a bit of a new beginning which is what this probably is here for for scorpios wanting to have something that that wasn't quite there before um, then um, be proactive about it find these people find these energies and um you know be frank right not frank sinatra just be frank you know anyway so that's that <laughs> are you ready for the last thing which is the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of march 2023 you are watching thomas's tower reading with myself thomas you like please like subscribe and share it is let's do this uh, opportunities you have resources <laughs> Okay, now, how can I phrase this best? The way it is shown to me is to, gosh, that sounds, that sounds wrong. Maybe not. Okay, a reading is just advice, <laughs> right? Loose advice as, at best. Point is, it's about resources. It's about understanding if you wanted to have a new beginning. Normally, the universe always says the same thing. If you make things about money and you say like, oh, I can't leave that job because I have not a new job. It doesn't work because money is not a spiritual currency. And yet, when it comes to opportunities in the month of March for the sign of Scorpio, they're asking you to, to, to look at your resources. If I went for something entirely new, let's just say something where I have to travel to or, you know, maybe I have to move, think it through. Before you go, I'm putting all my all my eggs in one basket and go. Just watch your resources. Go figure. Any case, Scorpios, that was your March 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I see you all next month.